Hello, I'm Andre J. Hey, and I'm Star. Welcome to another episode of Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere. Yeah. Getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, today, we're going to be talking about using your own uh, temporal vortex, or if you have a uh, wave pool, whatever com unit that you have is using your Raspberry Pi yeah, as more, splash, yeah, as, life. as more than just an SD card swap of a myriad of fucking <laughs> programs. You know, how can we get in and out of different programs all in one? Yeah. So like. The, the, the secret of these things, there's a couple of secrets. Um, one thing that people pick up on pretty quickly is you just swap an SD card. Right. And they all kind of run on the same thing. One or two of them need, like, maybe a little bit of extra stuff, but theoretically anything will run on anything else. Right. So you bought a wave pool, you want to play a temporal vortex. Um, Get that temporal vortex SD card, swap it in, boom, simple. But... Also, who the fuck wants to have, like, a little binder of, like, SD cards <laughs> around? I have one. It's really cute. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, 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 if you're going to do it, go for it. <laughs> but um, if you just want to, like, test things out and you don't want to, like, mess around with that, we got another option for you. There's mm -hmm. a little, little secret we got called the Master Boot Options. That means is <clears throat> if you have one SD card run for any of these... Hook a keyboard and a mouse up to the USBs before you turn it on. Turn it on. We already kind of did that beforehand. We're running with Temporal Vortex because that was what was sitting here. Mm -hmm. And I just press Escape. Well, look at that. I press Escape, and we're at some kind of a weird desktop thing. I might want to bring... Actually, no. We don't need to see everything on here. So we've got a desktop. This is actually, it's basically, it's got a computer with a tiny little operating system on it. It's called Raspbian. Uh, these run off of Raspberry Pi. Most mm -hmm. of you probably already know what the fuck is up with that. If mm -hmm. not, um, you're in luck because you actually, this device is useful for so many more things than what it just does. I'm not saying that what it, what these things do as video synthesizers isn't cool, but there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of really fun things you can do with a uh, Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. Um, but in order to get another program running on this, let's try out. You just go into this folder that says VSERPI Master Boot, and there's all these little gear things with a .sh extension. And let's say I want to see what artificial life looks like. I literally just double click that. It's going to ask me what I want to do with that, and I'll say execute in terminal. Mm -hmm. You see a whole bunch of text, nerd things run up um, for the most part. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can actually just read what's going on in there, and it'll like give you a little bit of info on like what's happening on the background of this. All right. And now we just have artificial life. Yeah. So we like just control this as the same way, like. And to be clear, this is the full program. Yeah. This isn't like some sort of demo shit or shareware. Like this is the entire. The, the entirety of artificial life, the entirety of spectral mesh, they're all on here, like, and we can kind of, like, keep going and jump from any one to any other one at any point. We just hit escape on the keyboard, right. and I'm like, I want to see spectral mesh. What's going on with this? Execute in terminal? Honestly. Wait a little bit of time. The GOAT! <laughs> <laughs> How do we just have all of the units in it's, one? It's you just know? easy. It's literally just easier for me to do this this way. <laughs> um, but I do want everyone to be able to like ha access these things. Um, it is kind of like some weird nonsense, we like marketing thing that makes me market them all as different things. Um, yeah. I maybe just should have started out by calling this like just one unit and it's the whole ecosphere and then like treat it more like the whole like Nintendo Wii kind of like thing I was saying <laughs> you just like this is just the thing and you plug a bunch of different games into it but right. I messed up and I'm kind of locked into this weird thing for now maybe, That's fine. maybe I'll trash it all and start over later um, find out uh, but yeah so yeah. that's how you run anything on anything um, a gem yeah. People are going to be like, what? So I didn't need to buy 
an extra. <laughs> no, oh, you oh. do need to buy them because <laughs> that's how we get paid. Um, I guess you don't need to buy them. You can just send money to our PayPal's or some shit. Yeah, uh, uh, mine's all over my website. I don't know. You can throw money to Star, but <laughs> <laughs> you got like a Venmo tip jar somewhere. You know, you know it exists. You, know, you can find it if you're committed to that work. Yeah. Um, or just send me PayPal money and say, give this a star. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, so you can do that. But if you do want to run multiple things at the same time, and maybe that's our next episode, is we'll just fucking set up a huge chain of everything. Yeah, that would actually be really cool. We should totally... That would be some fucking chaos. Um, I don't even know how we'll stage it. Because if we want to see what's going on at every t- time... Oh, maybe we'll set them up and we'll have a little monitor for each yeah. one. So we can just use, like, a camera to zoom through and show you what's going on there. That would be cool. Uh, but, yeah, like, you, and, you know, when you buy things, it's like you help the economy work or this bullshit capitalist system. Like, right. actually, don't buy things. It's all shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, depending on the day and your mood, you know. It's depending on what's in my bank account. I'm like, oh, fuck capitalism. We don't need this bullshit. And then I'm like, Please Shit, buy a unit, you to buy please. <laughs> please, just one capture yeah. bundle. Depending on whether or not USPS has just thrown thousands of dollars of my things. Right. Yeah, I'm, here, 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 here's something that like stressed me out this month was I sent six units out that just disappeared. I put in the mail and USPS just fucking threw them away. Honestly. What do you do? What do you do? Well, I took on two gigs that helped me pay me back for that. <laughs> Um, Check out the music videos coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full full disclosure. I don't usually take music video gigs unless I'm like up against a corner. You um, know. If you ask me to make you a music video on Instagram, like ninety nine percent of the time, I'm gonna say no. And if I say yes, it's because like six s- units got something, lost. Something's gone on. Something's yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's Master Boot. I think that's enough of me being really confusing about whether or not you should buy things. Um, Definitely buy them. I'll, I'll clear <laughs> the air. Buy the units. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do what you feel is right. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that's the end of this episode. I hope this is useful. I hope this is fun. Let me know if these things are, like, helping out yes. Let me know what you want to see in future episodes. Let me know what you want to see in future updates. Because yeah. we're going to do an update before Ooh. the end of the year. I don't want to, like, talk on a turn, but there's going to be something kind of exciting happening with this update. Uh, 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 if you've played with the desktop editions of things, you mm. might know what the next sort of secret is going to be. Um, but yeah. Uh, as always, have fun. Yeah. Peace. Right. <laughs> <laughs>